Oh my gosh, you guys. Lots to think through. We're getting close. We're getting close. I don't know. We are eight-ish days from the wedding, but I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit worried. friends how are you welcome back to the channel welcome to my cozy rainy day it's already 11 a.m feels like 7 a.m with how dark it is outside and i've just been literally laying here doing computer work all morning and it has been the absolute vibe it never rains here um and so when it does it's like kind of a treat although i will say first off it's crazy to me, this video is not gonna come out until after I'm back from the wedding and honeymoon. Because right now, we are eight-ish days from the wedding. Um, and speaking of rain, it, it, it will be raining pretty much every day now through the wedding. And we are praying, 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 praying it does not rain at the wedding because now that this video is actually coming out after the wedding, I can tell you our venues are our church and our home. We are getting married at our church and having the after party here at the home. I don't know how obvious that was, maybe you've already guessed that, but obviously our home is like pretty much just this room and all the outdoor space. And we're gonna have over a hundred people. So we really, 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 really need the outdoor space. So currently we are like panic looking at large tents that we could buy, which is gonna cost thousands of dollars. Um, maybe rent, which might actually cost more? I don't know. My wedding planner is like, I'm going to figure it out. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm a little bit worried. But one thing we're doing tomorrow, a guy's coming to help us plan this out. We have pretty much cleared out the garage. I can actually just show you what we have so far because we are using that as a dance floor. It's so fun because I can finally tell you all this. I haven't been able to say all this because I didn't want people to try to crash the wedding. If I tell the whole internet, you never know what could happen. So sorry, it is so dark in here. Let me just show you really quick. We have pretty much cleared out this whole space minus the couches because the couches are going to go in the front yard. I got couch covers to make them uniform as like a lounge area. And we are going to be lining the walls with curtains all the way around, blocking all of this. Here's all of our after party. I mean, all of our mocktail hour drinks, tons of waters, teas, sparkling waters, whatever. We're gonna be hiding all of this with a curtain, all of the laundry and everything. And we're gonna be hanging disco balls from here. We're gonna have speakers in the corners here and the door is gonna be open and there's gonna be a bartender set up out here. And this is gonna be the whole like massive dance floor space. And then obviously in the house, so bright. These chairs will be out front in the lounge space if it's not raining, Max. Push this couch against the wall and this will be more of the like, probably clear out the table. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. That's on Jordy's list. But then this will be like the hang grab some pizza, talk vibe, lounge out front, tables in the lower yard down there for people to also sit and eat, fire pit going, um, s'mores, people standing around the pool talking. So talk and hang all in here, lounge out front, tables lower yard, and then dance floor garage. So that's the plan. This is also going to be the bridal suite upstairs. <laughs> We're gonna be using this house for literally everything. Family's gonna be staying here. Might be a little chaotic. Um, praying, praying, praying that I get to enjoy this rain this week and then it will go away by the weekend. That's what we're hoping for. All that to say, some things I need to prep. Getting all the things together for the handyman to come tomorrow. He's gonna obviously be setting up the garage. I'm also gonna have him hang the curtains in here. Boom, boom. Remember how I've got those curtains in a recent vlog and also do some other random things like our front door needs to be readjusted. And it's our friend and he only works for a full day. So we need to like have a full day of tasks for him, hang some art. Also this weekend is a bridal shower or I guess like a lingerie shower for me, which is really so yeah. sweet. I wasn't gonna vlog Saturday, but maybe I'll just get a couple phone clips and bring y'all along for that as well. I will probably hang around the house today, enjoying the rain, doing tasks and then go meet up with the boys at the studio. They're still in the Switchfoot studio this week. Um, and I honestly get so much computer work done there and it's fun to watch the process. So that's kind of my plan today is wedding stuff, work stuff, cozy stuff around the house, head to the studio tonight. Sorry for the bathroom fan noise. You already know if you've been on this channel that that's something I'm gonna fix eventually. But okay, so you know how I've been trying to figure out how to do a slicked back bun for forever? I finally figured out a method that kind of works. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You need a comb that has been cleaned out. 
little rubber bands. This guy is helpful, but not necessary to get the little flyaways. And then you don't need any really fancy products, but you do need a hair mask. And this is dirty hair, obviously. Clearly, look at the way I slept on it. I'm going to wet it a ton with my hands, just mostly all of the roots to get it very, 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 very damp. I honestly don't really carry the brush down because I want the ends of my hair to be a little bit like knotted so I can get a fuller looking bun. Then I take a hair mask, which is actually way better at the ends of your hair, but I mostly use it to hold all this back. Literally some big old globs of this. Don't know how healthy this is to put on your root, but I imagine better than creams and gels and products that don't have any sort of nourishing benefits. Basically get it all around the scalp. I'll carry it down a little, but not a ton, because like I said, I want my bun to have body. And I'll bring, you see how my part goes all the way back? I will halfway and start to comb that part of my part back so that my part doesn't go that far back down my head. And then we'll kind of just go along the sides of my head and pull the front of my part to the side and back. And just kind of start like training my hair to go in that direction generally. And I start forming it into a ponytail. Where'd my rubber bands go? I'm so confused. Two rubber bands for the pony. Not the bun, just the pony. Tighten her up and assess before you commit any further. Not bad. This is where this guy comes in handy just to kind of like help smooth some of the pieces into the direction you're trying to go. And then for the bun, I found it looks a little bit better when you leave some of the ends kind of sticking out. So four total rubber bands. Just twist. You see those little ends? Kind of purposely leave those sticking out a little. And this will dry a bit as the day goes on and not look so wet, but just kind of stay slicked with the hair mask in it. And then the final piece of the puzzle, some fun earrings, because I feel like that just kind of balances out the not having any pieces of hair or anything at the front. And there we go. It actually stays slicked throughout the day. And I can get rained on and it doesn't matter. Have y'all seen my office when this is into a bed? Isn't it crazy? Since obviously all the guys are staying with us this week and the garage is cleared out, Jordy's actually been staying in here. Poor guy. Yes, we are still saving the, I know we mentioned this a long time ago, but we're not going to be sharing the primary bedroom until after the wedding. I mean, it definitely feels like we're living together because we are, but to like feel like something is different after marriage, we are not staying in that room together. So he has been kind of just floating around, but since this week all the rooms are taken, he's he's on the pullout couch. Um, you know what's so crazy to me is the last video I filmed yesterday was sponsored by Seed, but this video that I'm filming today is coming out a whole half a month later, which means this video is also sponsored by Seed. It's honestly the perfect timing. I'm doing I'm doing everything I can to feel good for the wedding, every single thing. I've like loaded up on all of my really nice things. I just, I don't wanna get sick. I don't wanna be bloated. I just wanna feel good that week. So I've been doing everything I can. So of course, obviously I've been taking Seed every single day. Thank you to Seed for sponsoring this video. If by some miracle you're new here and haven't heard me talk about this, I do have a code if you're on the market for a really good probiotic. It's just Mikel25. It will get you 25% off your first month. I will have the link down in the description. I've had a lot of friends try it out recently and be like, okay. Yep. Little quick TLDR as to what seed is it and how it's different from other probiotics is it's a daily symbiotic. So there's a probiotic and a prebiotic that helps to protect the living probiotics on the inside. And it makes sure that they actually survive and deliver to your colon. It's like a double capsule system. Super cool to see the inside. Actually, if you order this, take apart one of the pills and see what all goes into it because it's really fascinating. Um, and it's very inventive of them. They have a ton of different studies published by like brilliant minds explaining the science behind this and why it's different. And I'm just a really big believer that if you're spending the money on a probiotic, you should actually get what you pay for and it should actually work and survive, which is why I am very passionate about seed. And I'm also passionate about gut health in general because it's been a huge overarching theme of my life, having celiac disease and then going to school for nutrition. Like I learned so much about the gut and your microbiome and how it affects so many other areas of the body. Like it is correlated and interconnected with 
so many different parts of your health. That's why I take it every single morning um, and I have for years now. I love Seed so much. Thank you Seed for sponsoring this video. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but even though it's raining outside, I have much better lighting in here now because I have these um, filming lights. I've pointed them towards the wall to get like the indirect light so it's not like super duper harsh on my face. And I think it looks really natural, like sunlight coming through the window, but something on my to-do list. Now that y'all know <laughs> where the wedding is and everything like that is, um, obviously I'm gonna be getting ready here at the house along with my sister, my mom, and Achilles might come depending. It's not a huge space. So I'm meeting some of the other bridesmaids just like ready at our church. But I wanted to set up a little like makeup vanity upstairs over here in this desk little alcove. And what I'm thinking is I have a couple big mirrors. Um, I might bring both of them up. One is in the guest house, so when it's not raining, I'll get that one. But I wanted to set up a couple mirrors and then those filming lights as like vanity lights to see if that's a good area for people to get ready. Obviously we have the full length mirror here and then I'll be getting my makeup professionally done so we'll set up a chair here in front of the natural light is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna put on real workout clothes for the day because I'm still in my pajamas and then I think let's play around with that and try setting it up and seeing if we can make a little bit of like a usable vanity for us all to get ready together in here. Um, by all I mean me, my sister, my mom, maybe Anna Kaylee's. That is going to be a ton of people as is up here in this little space so we'll see. Okay, so basically I'm gonna have a second one of these mirrors next to this over here. The thing I can't decide is these lights on a tripod are too too tall and take up too much of the counter space. So I'm like, is there another way to mount them? Basically, I don't know. Um, it's good thought, like thought starters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit and stare at it for a bit. Cozy Max in the rain. Okay, here's my solution. I've moved this to here for now, which is actually kind of a cool vibe, but it's actually too cramped for practicality. Eventually it will live here. But day of the wedding, only day of the wedding, if it's not raining, I'll put it out on the patio, get more patio seats out there. And then I think I might order two tiny little tripods for the lights and bring up some dining chairs. And it should be good, it should be awesome. I cleared out like the lamp over here and a couple other random things that were kind of under here just to make it a bit more clean. And you can check your outfit here, do your hair makeup here. I think it's gonna be the perfect little getting ready little look. And I might fold more paper airplanes today at the studio. I'm gonna do a few more tasks, take Max on a walk, and then bring paper so all the boys, when they're not recording, can help me fold planes. Pretty smart. Just finished watching back a vlog while I was eating lunch. I'm gonna wait to upload it till I'm at the studio, but I realized in that vlog, I mentioned our wedding signs and then I didn't show them to you. So I can show you a couple of them. The really big ones, what did you find to eat? Oh, it's an edamame noodle? You could probably have that. I'll show you a couple of them. The big ones, like the welcome one or whatever, are all wrapped up in bubble wrap, so I don't wanna undo them, but here's the please sign our wedding surfboard which will be next to that surfboard at the first venue with like white Sharpies. But this is the one that I'm really excited for because it's our signature cocktails. There's the Don't Mess With Texas, which is a spicy marg with a tahine rim in honor of San Antonio. It's also my whole family's favorite drink. There's the Bitchin, which is basically a whiskey, no, a Manhattan, which is Jordy's favorite drink and um, <laughs> Okay, it's really funny because I posted this on my Instagram and I was like, if you know, you know. And a lot of people did know why it's called the bitchin spelled that way. But a lot of people are like, is it because you love that bitchin sauce? <laughs> but this is a reference from one of Jordy Song's favorite days. It's uh, the lyrics are me and my brother put drums in the bedroom and beds in the kitchen. We called it a bitchin. Basically in honor of his brother. And then the Max Tail, which is a mocktail. It's a Paloma mocktail. Grapefruit, sparkling water, simple lime, dehydrated orange. People could also spike it if they want a real Paloma, I guess. 
So, those are the drinks, those are the signs. I saw a sign. Thinking of all the things I gotta do before I can go. Okay, gotta just basically prep all the work things that I can do there and see if you can potty one more time. Slow down raining out there, maybe, you'll, maybe you will. I think it's because the light, oh, my mic has been a little funny, I'm so sorry. But I think it's because the light is so good in here. The boys just left for the studio, last studio day, which is exciting. We have our friend Mitch here. He's currently hanging all the stuff in the garage. He might be in and out, he'll be here kind of all day. I am just gonna have a little productive around the house day, but on a whim at like 2.30, I found there's an IV spot in Oceanside. And y'all know me, I'm just paranoid about getting sick or not feeling good, but I haven't done them in a long time and I did not know if there was any out here, but there is. So I think I'm gonna do that today. And the boys have to be out of the studio by five today, which is a lot earlier than normal. So I might hang out with them this evening, see what's up, see how we feel. Yesterday, honestly, in the evening, I was feeling kind of flary. Yeah, I took a night in and I went to bed really early and it was very needed and very nice glad I did that. So today, just kind of cranking along on work things and being around the house for all the house things that are happening. I'm excited to show y'all all of the afters. I'm excited to have curtains in here. That'll be so great. And hang some things. Maybe hang the surfboard, relocate the snowballs to that wall, hang the little swimming ladies right there. Fun things that we'll get to see the before and after of. In honor of me missing one of my favorite restaurants in Austin, Picnic, I'm making a bone broth with like a ton of ghee in it because they had a butter bones bone broth that was so good. Let's try it. I've never done this before at home. That's so good. Just got a package delivery from soon to be sister-in-law. She sent me a whole box of snacks for wedding week. So she was like, you're probably gonna be too busy to cook. Wanna make sure you have healthy things that you can snack on, which is so sweet. And she also said she bought something crazy because she wants to know how disgusting it is. And I'm excited. Let's do a little haul. Oh, two things I've never had. Little beef sticks, little pizzeria and peanut butter pretzels. Ooh, I love Verve bars. Okay, this must be the thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> These are green bean casserole flavored sparkling waters. <laughs> I'm so curious. I will be trying one of these later. Ooh, some instant ramen. Are these, these are gluten free. I've never tried these before. Cheese balls, Rice Krispie treats. <gasps> never seen this one either. Protein gluten free plant based chocolate chip cookies. How did I not know of these? The ingredients, almond butter. Coconut sugar, oat flour, chocolate chips. This sounds so good. Oh, yes. So sweet. I'm gonna pop one of these in the fridge and we're gonna, we're gonna taste this later. I can't wait any longer. We have to try this now. I'm gonna start a video on my phone too to send to Mallory. Gonna try it now. It's like kind of chilled from the box, so I'm not gonna wait. I'm vlogging it also. Natural green bean flavor, sage extract, and sparkling water. Oh, it actually smells kind of good. Tastes like cucumber juice. Cucumber juice. Oh my gosh, you guys. The garage is looking sick. I, this was Jordy's idea. And at first I didn't see the vision. I was like, we're gonna put people in our 
garage to dance, but he ordered all the supplies, planned it all out, and the curtains that are being hung around the interior right now look so professional. It's gonna be so cool. I didn't see the vision and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but it's, it's, it's coming along and it's looking awesome. Okay, here's what we got so far. Just curtains lining. Well, we have a hot pink door, which maybe we should repaint, but curtains lining the whole perimeter and then also blocking the washer dryer and stuff back there. There's more we gotta clean out so that it lays more flush. Um, but this door will be open. This door will be open. People will be going in and out of all of these. So we just kind of left this black fridge uncovered. Um, but it's looking more professional, looking less like a garage. We're gonna hang a conglomeration of disco balls from here to also distract from that. This big one and then all of these small ones also. So do a mix of shapes and sizes. All right, gonna try out this new IV place. IVs don't bother me at all, or blood draws or whatever. I am a very hard stick, which is a little bit hard. Like sometimes it'll take them a few tries, but this is my first time getting an elective IV since being in the hospital where I was on a consistent IV every single day that I was there and they would have to like change it out and like move it around. So, my experience with IVs has been tainted ever since that experience. So we'll see how this goes, but um, prayers that it's a good, nice spot with uh, an easy, an easy stick nurse. Okay, funny story. They were really backed up. I felt so bad. I was sat there for an hour before I was like, hey, can I just switch to an injection? because I'm kind of running out of time. Um, it was the nurse's first day and she was super sweet though. So I switched to an injection, like an anti-inflammatory injection because um, I felt a little bit inflamed lately. And she comes in and she's like, all right, girl, it's gonna go in your butt. And I was like, <laughs> oh, you're not joking. Okay, I've never had a shot in my butt before. <laughs> so that's what we did. And I can taste it in my mouth. Like I can taste, you know, I don't know if you've gotten an IV before, you can like taste it in your mouth. I'm starting to taste the shot in my mouth. So that thing must have been potent. Um, so we're done. We're done. I'm gonna run to Home Depot, get some things for our handyman friend, and then go home. I just got home. Hanging curtains in this room was the best thing we've ever done. You ready for this? It like changes the whole feel of the space and this wall is gone. It's gone. All the ugly things are gone. Max, what do you think? Like suddenly it feels like we're living in a hotel. It makes it feel bigger. Mitch, the um, handyman that's helping us, he's like, I think it's because it takes away like the hard edges and it just like makes everything flow and feel so large. Ah, oh, it's so perfect, Max. This is exactly what I had envisioned. And this tone pulls from the same tone of the lime wash wall that we had just done over there. So it feels like different shades, which adds the depth and the texture. Oh my gosh. I love it, do you love it? Do you love it? Okay, you ready for this? This is most exciting of all. We're in my bathroom. Do you hear that? Exactly. We were able to disconnect the fan from this switch. So now I can film in here and have the bright lighting and get ready with y'all and do hairstyles and do all the things and not have the fan noise going the whole time. Oh, such a gift. The boys are wrapping up at the studio a little early today. Me casually trying to show you my background, my new background. <laughs> <laughs> Curtains are the key. Curtains are the key. They are the mascara of the room. She is now dressed up. Her eyes are popping. It's subtle, it's something, but it's elevated. <sighs> so nice. I'm not gonna end the vlog because I will bring you along for at least the shower tomorrow that my friends are throwing me, which is very sweet. I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I ordered some rentals, but the dress I wanted got replaced in my rental. So I ordered a different rental and then that dress that I wanted got replaced and that, it's this whole thing. So I have some random dresses that I did not choose <laughs> that we can try on and see how they look tomorrow. But I wanna save that for tomorrow. LOL, the fact I have two newlies to try to get that one dress and neither of them worked. Okay, I think that they were basically 
aware of, oh, she wants a white dress, let's replace it with a white dress. This is too casual. This is like a denim material. I mean, I could try it on, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. There's two options in this one. This is maybe too formal, but this is like just a cowl neck. I mean, not a cowl neck, like a swoop back white dress that definitely needs to be steamed. This is looking like the best contender out of the rental dresses. It's um, free people. It's not too casual, it's not too formal. And it's like kind of a corset back, which makes me hopeful. Let's just try them all on. I'm gonna start with the, um, the scoop neck, but I think I'm gonna end up probably with the free people. This one, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, this is a no. I don't know, it kind of feels a little bit too much, you know? Also, we're gonna be outside and it's gonna be chilly, so I'm gonna wear a jacket, but it's, I don't know. I'll take a photo in it and decide. I have a wild card that's not white that I got for a honeymoon dinner, but it's this like caped dress. It's pretty insane. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> that just took me back to when I was like, um, Maybe 11, I had to do this personality reel for agents. Um, and <laughs> they made me answer stupid questions. And one of them was, one of them was, if you could be any superhero, who would it be? And I went, if I was any superhero, I would be Wonder Woman. Da 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 da. <laughs> it's still on YouTube somewhere. It's pretty good. Yeah. Scratch all those options. We came up with a completely different plan. We meaning mostly Jordy helping me not freak out because I was like, I hate everything. I don't have anything to wear. So this is what we've pulled together. Okay, this is a bodysuit. And this is a skirt that I found that I got a while ago but doesn't fit and I've been meaning to get it altered. So, and I don't have a safety pin or anything. So in order to make it stay up, I have one of my great grandma's vintage belts and my sailboat jacket makes it feel like me. Here's the full outfit. We got my granny heels, and I feel like just the right amount of dressed up, just the right amount of bridal, just the right amount of me, which is granny heels and sailboat jacket. I'm gonna just go ahead and end the vlog on the montage of whatever clips I get tonight, but I'm excited to bring you all along. Thanks for coming. Okay, let's do it. Hold tight, love, we're getting there soon And leave our troubles in rear view Come, keep warm by the fire As the evening retires Brings our starlight again Call to the wide open meadow Fall asleep to the dimming light Don't care if time passes by